Hey guys, it's the Med Studio and today we'll be looking at measles. Measles is a highly contagious viral illness that can lead to several serious complications. Fortunately, it's now uncommon in the UK due to the effectiveness of vaccination. However, it is still a notifiable disease, meaning that we need to recognise the basic signs and symptoms in order to identify it within a population. Measles is caused by the measles virus and can spread via very small droplets, making it highly contagious. So if an infected individual coughs or sneezes, they can spread these droplets, which can then be carried to the next individual. If this individual is not immune, i.e. not vaccinated, the measles virus can then infect the epithelial cells of the nose and the eyes. There are hemagglutinin receptors on the virus that will then bind on to the target proteins on the epithelial cells. The virus then enters the cell using a fusion protein, allowing it to release its genetic material, which is a single-stranded RNA. This genetic material will then be converted into viral proteins. Here, the virus can then multiply and eventually into the nearby lymph nodes. Eventually, the virus can then establish itself on the skin and other tissues, such as the respiratory tract. So, what happens next? Once the virus has entered the body, the whole process of replication and spreading to other parts of the body can take up to 14 days. This is known as the incubation period, which is a time in which an individual can have the virus but has not yet developed symptoms. After this period, symptoms will start to occur. This is known as the prodromal phase. This is when the pathogen continues to multiply, but now symptoms can also be experienced because the immune system has been activated. This takes around two to four days. The initial symptoms of this period includes high fever, conjunctivitis, coryza, and cough. After these initial symptoms, coplic spots start to appear. These are small white spots that occur on the mucous membranes, for example, inside of the mouth. Following on from the prodromal phase, the individual will then start to have characteristic rashes on their skin. As you can see, these are small red spots, where some are raised and some are flattened spots. So they're medically known as maculopapular rashes. In terms of shape, the rashes are quite blotchy. Usually they start at the head and then spread down to the rest of the body. Once the rashes have appeared, the viral load usually decreases and the body goes into the recovery phase, whereby antibodies are made. This usually takes around 15 days. In order to diagnose measles, it's important to take a thorough history and examination, looking for the characteristic features of measles that we discussed earlier. Lab tests can also be used to confirm the diagnosis, such as serology, which identifies measles-specific IgM antibodies in the blood. There is no specific management or treatment for measles, except for supportive care. So, for example, fluids for hydration, antipyretics to relieve fever, etc. Some recent studies have also shown that vitamin A supplements can be provided to patients as it's associated with boosting their antibody response, as well as decreased morbidity and mortality. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it really useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment below. And follow me on Instagram at the Medstudier.